This is Grouper Training for System Administrators on the Grouper Upgrader. My name is Chris Heiser from University of Pennsylvania and Internet2. I'm going to give you an introduction to the Upgrader, how to run it, um, an example for using it is to have an example of upgrading that you can do manually later, and then a demo of using the Upgrader. Introduction to the Upgrader. The Grouper Upgrader is an option when you use the Grouper Installer. Um, it will at least attempt to upgrade from whatever version of Grouper you're using um, to the version of the Upgrader that you downloaded, which hopefully is 2.2.1 uh, at the time of this recording, or whatever the most recent version of Grouper is. Um, Grouper's been along for a long time, been around for a long time. Extremely old versions of Grouper haven't been tested, but going back to 1.5, um, it works, or at least will uh, will help you out. So the upgrader is new in 2.2.1, <coughs> and um, if you download the 2.2.1 upgrader or um, installer, it will upgrade your Grouper version to 2.2.1. Um, and you can run the upgrader <coughs> on the same version of Grouper that you're running and it will just make sure that everything is uh, is intact. Um, the upgrader must run from an installed directory, not a source directory. This was an initial limitation of the upgrader, which might change in the future. Um, but at the time of this recording, <laughs> you have to run the upgrader on a um, install directory which is the web app directory of Tomcat for a UI or web service. You can upgrade um, the Grouper API, the PSP, a UI web app, a web service web app, um, or the client. The upgrader will prompt you about major changes, for instance if it's going to do DDL in the database and you can um, decide yes or no if you want to do um, that action and it will also print out each command that it does with some output output so that you can see what it's doing and um, um, and what it did and at the end the upgrader um, will prompt you to install the most recent patches for grouper um, which will um, take care of any um, bugs or minor changes um, that are put into that version of Grouper via patch. Um, and there's another training video on patches. Um, you can refer to that to get more information on patching. How to run the upgrader. You run the upgrader just like you run the installer. You just get the grouper installer.jar. And depending on which version you want, for instance 2.2.1, you're going to wget that. And then you're going to uh, run java-jar grouper installer.jar and then you're going to pick upgrade from the main menu. So using the upgrader as an example, um, if you want to know the exact steps for an upgrade, we do have those documented on the wiki somewhere, but they might get a little uh, out of date or not be accurate. The upgrader will tell you exactly what you need to do to upgrade your grouper to the version that you're upgrading to. Um, so if you want to know the steps for an upgrade and run it yourself, you can clone your database and files and run Grouper in, um, in a parallel instance, run the upgrader on that instance, make note of all the commands and um, steps, and then you can run those um, in your other instance or via the upgrader, um, or you can run it manually against the source tree. So this is an example of upgrading Grouper v2.0 to 2.2.1. So first I'll install Grouper v 2.0 UI. Okay, I installed Grouper 2.0.3 via the installer. Um, as you can see, this is the old UI, admin UI. And I can um, Make a directory of 2.2.1. I'll 
copy the command to get the um, 2.2.1 installer slash upgrader. I can run that. And I have a few options here. I can install, upgrade, or patch. So I am going to upgrade. Um, you should back up your files or database before you start. Um, in this case, uh, um, I'm okay not doing that. Um, but basically, you want to copy your database schema and copy the um, files that you're affecting. Um, so this is where it's going to download the new files, uh, defaults to whatever directory you're in. And we're going to upgrade the UI. Um, and when you upgrade the UI or WS or PSP, that also upgrades the API in that directory. Are there any running processes using this um, installation? Um, basically, you want to stop the, uh, the Tomcat. So my command for doing that. My Tomcat's not running anymore. And if the loader was running, you would stop that as well. Um, so now I can say no. Where is the grouper UI installed? Um, at the time that this is being recorded, you can only upgrade a web app, which means that um, the directory that you're going to specify is the directory that has webinf and all the web resources. It's not the directory that you built the UI from. And again, this might change in the future where you can upgrade a source um, directory. So I'm going to put that in there. It's going to download um, everything that it needs to um, build the grouper UI. So it's going to download uh, ant and and um, grouper and the grouper UI. So there's a uh, change in the server XML. So if you want to specify that, So this is a uh, um, international character fix that it's going to change the uh, server XML. And we'll set these to executable dust to Unix. Um, so we need to make sure that the change log temp records are copied over. So nothing should be using the grouper database, and this will run that script. Um, if your grouper loader has run recently, there might be nothing to do. Um, but if it hasn't, um, then it'll make sure everything is uh, processed. So we're going to keep removing the redundant properties from all the config files. <coughs> um, the EH cache part, if you want to diff that, you can. Otherwise, it's just going to use the new one, which is fine if you haven't changed any caches. Um, you can compare. Um, source XML, sources XML, and um, 
see if there's anything new you want to put in there or you can just try try to run grouper with um, the one you have and if there are issues then uh, um, if there is issues with the subject API you can address that so this is going to copy over a bunch of jars and <clears throat> now it's going to uh, um, Try to do patches, which we'll talk about in a uh, in a different training. Okay. So this is going to um, upgrade the DDL, which you should probably do if you want to review the script. You can, otherwise, you can just run it. Then it's going to um, check and make sure that the script that it just ran is okay. And here you see it says the uh, DDL is up to date, so that's good. Um, <clears throat> it's going to prompt you to do some utilities if you want. This one is okay not to do, so we can hit false. Um, we don't have to resolve subjects. Um, you should um, see if you have those rules. Um, flatten permission. If you don't have a rule for that, then uh, then you can ignore it. Um, this is going to run that script, and here you see it says count zero. So uh, so we're good with that. Um, we can run the upgrade script to two point two. And this is basically going to um, change around the database a little bit for the new um, changes in 2.2. For large registries, this can take a while. Um, this is going to fix point in time things. So now that was the API part. Now we're doing the UI. So we um, updated UI jars. Um, we uh, updated, you know, JSPs and everything else. There were 671 files that were backed up and um, changed. Um, the web XML um, would be copied over so you can um, diff your web XML with the one that's there and see if uh, if you need to put anything back in there um, this part um, the externalized text changed to grouper dot text dot en dot us dot base and um, um, you can go back and look at some of these things and see if if you've customized them if you haven't then you're okay um, the nav dot properties is not used anymore so you can remove that and um, changes that were in there that are going to the grouper dash ui dot properties if you want to uh, to make sure those um, are correct, you can. Um, if you haven't changed any of that, then then you're okay. Um, so at this point, um, we can start the Tomcat again and see if it works.
So here we have the new UI. Um, it's not patched yet, um, but the upgrader can also patch for you. Um, and uh, and that's the upgrade. Um, there's a quiz link in the video to uh, um, reinforce your knowledge of this topic. Uh, for further information, um, look at the wiki, look at the, uh, the wiki upgrader page. Um, you can try a group on the demo server and there are more training videos at the training home. Thanks a lot.